come on in, two sisters tell, gather round everyone. I have here my trusty magic gate off. Let's take a look inside, see what it has to show us. Two deaths. This is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave out the rest. If you don't resonate with the reading, feel free to check out my other videos. We may have some messages there. Okay, before we hop into the actual reading, I wanted to say real quick, this came to my attention. We're still going to do, a, this is still going to be a general reading for y'all. So, before we hop into that, this has been brought to my attention, my attention, that I need to bring this to your awareness. Because I come across, I won't name names or anything because I know better than that. But some people are not showing how you're supposed to manifest in the correct way. Because there's a right way and then there's a wrong way. Now what I mean by that, there is manifestation and then there's witchcraft. Now here's the clear definite di difference. Manifesting is when you wanting to bring something that you're wanting into your life and bring it to you. The witchcraft can be something like, for example, if you're trying to sit, trying to manifest somebody to confess their feelings for you, that's not manifestation. That's witchcraft because that's working against someone's free will. When something is worked against someone's free will, that is crossing the line to witchcraft. Not manifestation, but witchcraft. So... The best way to manifest, if you're wanting someone say a counterpart for you, that's your true counterpart. First, of all, first and first, first and fourth most, clear your mind, neutralize, and think of no one, and just work on manifesting and focusing on bringing in your true counterpart with no one in mind. Now, if you have, if there's somebody like you two that you're already connected to and you both mutually come together in agreement that you both want to manifest each other, that's a different story because that's not going against each other's free will. That's consent. But when you intentionally say you want to manifest an outcome for someone to do something, that's witchcraft. That is not manifestation. That is not the way you properly do things. If you want to properly manifest and not use witchcraft, don't do something that's going to go against someone's free will because that's a fine line. So I wanted to make that clear. I felt called to say this because this was brought to my awareness. And once it was brought to my awareness, I felt I needed to bring it to your attention and let you know in case for those of you that are trying to learn how to properly manifest and don't want to do witchcraft, and you might be doing witchcraft and you're not even knowing it because someone's teaching you to do it in that way that that's not the way to do it. You have to keep a mutual, a neutral mindset, thinking of no one. And you want to try to work on bringing in who you want to truly bring towards you. And of course, when you come together and you did manifest, you, do, you also have to put the actions in too. Manifestation and action come together. But you can't think that you can, it's okay to manifest some, someone to do something as far as you want them to do something like to come towards you. That is witchcraft because that's working against their free will. That's not operating from a manifestation place. And that's not from your heart. That's your ego. That's what your ego wants. You don't work against someone's free will. Because if someone truly has genuine feelings for you, they'll have no problem coming to you and telling you. And anything that they do, that's on them still. If you're sitting there trying to manifest them to confess some kind of feelings for you, that is not manifestation. That is witchcraft. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the reading now. But I felt called to... Make that clear distinction between manifestation and witchcraft because there is a clear difference. Make sure that it's not working against someone's free will. Keep a neutral mindset, thinking of no one in particular. And again, unless you and a counterpart is already coming into union in some way and you both come into agreement because that's consensual. 
Otherwise, that would be witchcraft because it's not consensual. You have to think of no one keeping a neutral mindset and not trying to cause an outcome for somebody in particular to do something, to take an action towards you or to confess something to you because that's witchcraft. That is going against their free will and it, that's not how manifestation works. So that's enough and that's all I need to say. I felt like I needed to bring that to some people's awareness that comes across my channel, whether you subscribe to me or not yet, or if you ever do or not. If you just happen to come across my content, I just felt called to bring that to your awareness. Now, without further ado, let's start the reading. I hope you had a good weekend and everything's going well for you so far at the beginning of this week. We have the Queen of Cups. Hold on. Bend it, why don't you? The Emperor. The Five of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. And the Nine of Wands. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Pentacles. Now we're going to start with the Queen of Cups. It can be the uh, King of Cups as well. And this can also be the Empress, not just the Emperor. Take it however it resonates. We're going to see how this goes, of course, just so you can get a little bit more clarity on what's what. I'm picking up this is a time to tap more into your intuitive side right now and to nourish and to take care of yourself and even pamper yourself in some way. What else I'm getting from that? I'm seeing these roses that are on our lap. I'm trying to make up what kind of flowers. I'm picking up hope. Like you, you might have come across some times that you felt like you're lo losing all hope in a matter, but for you not to do that, things are gonna get better. And then here, we, so just listen to the intuition that's guiding you and helping you through that. Then we have the emperor or the empress, whichever resonates with you. Now let me fill out so I can. This is more. I'm picking up your energy. I'm picking up this is being a parent. So this emperor or empress. So you might be thinking about your childhood, especially with these kids in the background. And you're having to work through some things that you've dealt with. And it might even been something that made you feel out in the cold at times. 
So something stemming from your childhood is now trying to resurface and show itself. So that way you can work on nurturing yourself in any way that you didn't get in your childhood to give that to yourself and not to neglect yourself as you're doing this. So as in bring yourself out of the cold and nurture yourself in the ways that you weren't able to have that established in your childhood and embrace that and take care of yourself in that way. Then we have the Seven of Swords. I'm also picking up with the Seven of Swords and how all this is coming together. Something in your childhood made you feel like you were robbed in some way. So again, take what you did not feel like you got in your childhood and give that to yourself so you can help fill that void. Not only work on the eternal internally, but whatever you did not get in your childhood, give that to yourself. So you can restore that, whatever void that was left and left this hole within you as what I'm picking up from this here too. And this will help you to write yourself. And even though this the emperor or empress is in the upright, it doesn't mean that you did not have some kind of form of feeling left out in the cold and felt neglected. It doesn't mean that they were a bad parent either. It just meant somehow they missed a step on something you needed. They just weren't, even if they didn't intentionally, especially, especially since it's in the upright. And this has been bogging you down, especially when you're reflecting from your childhood. Now, here we have the Nine of Wands. You've been feeling like you've been having a guard and, and stand your guard in situations due to an upbringing. And it's caused you, and possibly just from past situations, not just childhood. And it's kept you feeling like you had to be guarded so you didn't be deceived or taken advantage of like you were in your past. But you, you need to learn how to not to be over guarded is what I'm picking up. So that way you don't push everything that good that's meant for you out. Because you can go overboard with it. But with this Queen of Cups or King of Cups in the upright, you're at least in the upright. So you're able to take care of yourself, but you're also guarded. And you're able to tune into your intuition being in the upright. And you can rely on it. But just don't be overguarded at while you're going through this process. And then we have the Page of Pentacles. I'm picking up, there's something in your, there's a material situation that's about to present itself. So you're about to receive something that you can see, touch, and feel. And it might seem like a small token at first, but it's going to be something that's like a, planting a seed and it grows and it goes a long ways. So don't steer, steer, sneer your nose at it. And again, what I'm picking up far is going a long ways with this right here. It has a, it's able to go a long ways. So a little, something little might start out small, but then it can grow and become bigger. So don't judge the size of a situation and just understand there's more to what meets the eye. I'm going to see what I'm getting overall and see if I need any clarifiers or any more advice from uh, the vice versa tarot. I'm also picking up not my circus, not my monkeys from this here. So don't borrow trouble is what I'm getting from that. Only stay in your lane and don't take on more than you can chew. So if you're still trying to work on yourself, then this is not the time, even though you can help somebody at the same time, but just make sure that you're not neglecting yourself in order to do so, that it's not selfish to take care of yourself as much as you might want to nurture and help others because that's, I'm picking up that's your nature. Don't, neglect don't deceive yourself and neglect yourself because you 
tend to want to put more effort into helping others when you need to have more of this time to yourself to nurture yourself at this time and that it's not selfish to take care of yourself because if you allow your cup to empty you're not going to be any help to anybody so you need to take out the time and nurture yourself for a while before worrying about helping others because your cup will empty out and then, then you're nobody benefits from it but whenever you can see times that you can't help somebody while you're doing that then it's okay just don't overly do so that you'll end up neglecting yourself now i'm going to get some go ahead and get some uh more cards is what I'm, I'm feeling drawn to do so i'm going to go ahead and do so and i'm going to take oh use it vice versa cards like i said oh good grief See where I need to start. I'm going to start with this Five of Pentacles and see what else is being it needs to be presented or shown to itself to you at this time. And any advice? Excuse that. There's so many outside interferences. And don't let that happen either to where it distracts you from being able to, that's what I'm picking up from that, from taking care of what you need to take care of for yourself, even when there are distractions. Excuse that as that goes by. Matter of fact, I'm going to just wait a minute. Okay, I got past that. Okay, now we have the Knight of Wands. So, I paused because I thought I heard it again. Anyway, we have, I'm just going to have to work through it. Anyway, That's so distracting. Okay, you may still be able to hear it, but I just made it to where I could, it's not it's distracting me. Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles, and to, uh, as we said, as you know, and clarified by the Knight of Wands. I'm picking up it would be great for you to go on some form of adventure and to allow yourself to embrace that adventurous side of you. And not to neglect that part of yourself either. And don't leave it out in the cold. Because this is part of what you're meant to do. To rediscover yourself. And to process what you need to process. And become this new version. Your new and improved version of yourself is what I'm picking up. And not let past betrayals keep you bogged down. And by going out and adventuring like this will also help you to kind of clear your mind from these past portrayals that you've endured. I apologize for that. That's, that's nothing I can do about that because that's not here. That's outside somewhere. Okay, see if there's any more clarifiers that's needed. I'm going to go ahead and get one for this page of pentacles. Okay, we have the seven of swords in reverse. So, I'm picking up if there has been some kind of uh, deceit in someone trying to take what was yours in the past. What was taken from you will be restored. So, whatever the enemy has taken from you will be back. Uh, will come to, uh, be back. Come back to you, and then some is what I'm picking up. And then we also have the King of 
pentacles here. So you might even seem like it won't be quite literally. It'll just seem like it, like almost overnight. You go from the, the page of pentacles to the king of pentacles. And use your own discernment and your intuition to make sure this is your message or not. Because it's not going to be for everybody. Especially since this is a general reading. So, that's all I'm going to go ahead and get for the clarifiers. I'm going to see if there's anything overall I'm getting before moving on to the oracle. I'm picking up with this smile on this man's face they think they gotten away with it because they gotten away with it for so long but the jokes on them especially when i'm picking up the tin again like clowns the jokes on them because they the, the sooner or later you're gonna have to pay the piper and there's nothing they can do about that so whether they like it or not not only gonna get back what's rightfully yours and then some they have to pay the piper for what they've done. That's what I'm picking up from this. They're only fooling themselves to think just because, let's say if it's, I'm picking up, it could be anywhere from seven to nine years for some of you. And for others, it could be five years. So anywhere from five, seven to nine years worth of damage being done to you. And only like a select few, it might only be a one year since the page is what I'm picking up. But the majority that will resonate with this will be anywhere from five, seven to nine years worth of what seem like these thieves or enemies, excuse that, uh, thought they could get away with it. I got something to intuitive about that. That time with my stomach growling, they become greedy. And because they became so greedy, that's what's going to catch them up. They're going to fumble because they became greedy. That, that, that's, I, I know that seems strange. That I, that's what I got off that intuitively from my stomach growling. They became greedy. And because of it, that's what's going to catch them up. That's why they're going to get caught. Because they became greedy. And I'm also picking up crumbs just falling out. So they left little clues because they couldn't hold all the, the greed of, of what they tried to take from, from you in some way. And they're going to leave a breadcrumb trail because of it. Because their greed gave themselves away. And now they'll have to pay the piper. And you'll get to have your just reward. I'm going to move on to the oracle now. I'm going to start with the Psychic Tarot. I have the hiccup. Lovely. <laughs> There's all kinds of noises tonight, isn't it? I say tonight because I'm filming at night. Well, I don't know how long I'm actually probably closer to one to two o'clock in the morning I don't need something like that we have truth and 20 is the judgment card so the truth's gonna come out because they're gonna be under judgment for what they've done and the truth's going to be re revealed because, again, what I picked up intuitively from my gut growling, they are going to become so greedy that they can't even hold it all without leaving little breadcrumbs, as well as just becoming that careless and cocky, thinking they got away with it for so long that they become too relaxed, and that's what's going to catch them up. And they're going to have to pay the piper. And that's just too bad for them, isn't it? Actually, it's good for you, but it's bad for them, so. We 
yeah, foundation and achievement. Foundation and achievements. Good grief. And then we have four. Four represents the emperor. And of course, the emperor does re re uh, represent the foundation. And of course, achievements. So the rainbow is going to re is going to, uh, representing your wish fulfillment and true happiness in this situation for it to finally for you to get your just reward as they also get their just reward of them having to pay the piper and you getting back what's due to you plus some. And I'm picking up while they're under judgment, metaphorically speaking, or it could be literal, depending on if it's a court situation, the, the court will rule in your favor while throwing the book at them. Well, transformation and 13, that's the death card. So, this is going to be transformative. And there might have been some endings in this situation, but the endings was needed for you to have this transformation and rebirth to happen. And this is going to help you. I'm also picking up because of, it looks like she's breaking out of a shell. You might have, you might be taking off, not a mask, but like coming more into your true authentic self. I'm also picking up the diamond in the rough again, because I picked that up a lot. And that's what it's, I'm feeling like this pressure that you've been under is going to really make you shine through and be seen for who you truly are. So if other people, even if other people try to throw shade at you, people are going to have no choice but to see the truth that you, who you really are and that you are a good person with a, um, not perfect obviously, but you're, you're a good person despite what might have been, what shade might have been thrown at you. I'm also getting transformation when it comes to your finances. <clears throat> so if you had trouble with your finances or it died off in some way, it's now going to rebirth and start coming out and repl replenish, especially for any thievery that's happened. So now we have rest and rejuvenate. And then we have four again. Of course, this might more or less represent the four of swords, obviously, because of the four and the rest and rejuvenate. So... It is time for you to relax and not, and not to burden yourself or worry. Things are going to be taken care of and there's no reason to be worried at this time because things are going to start working out in your favor. And then we have solitude. So you might need to take some time away for yourself too. And maybe even read a good book and just relax. And also this star coming out, this is reminding me of what I just picked up here too. Doing, uh, taking time to yourself and allowing a transformation to finish coming through is going to truly put you in your stardom. Even if you're not in the limelight, just stardom, like you're shine through and be more of your your shining light is what i'm picking up and not to hold it back don't dim your light now we're going to move on to the angel answers you're ready so this letting you know you're ready to face the truth in matters too about yourself. So you can go through this transformation. 
So there's no reason to hold yourself back. So as all this is going down, you may, I'm picking up strongly that you could be going through a transformation. And if you resonate with this, you might resonate with the Aquarius reading, which I don't know if you have any Aquarius placements or not. But even if you don't, this seems to be spinning off of it for some, in some way. Not fully though, just the shadow work and going through a transformation at this time. But you're ready to receive. Be ready to receive is what I'm picking up. Your just reward as this is unfolding as well. So even if you don't resonate with that part, this is also about your be ready to receive. So relax and just uh, allow it to come naturally to you and don't try to force things to happen. We have listen to your intuition. So definitely listen to the guidance that you're shown. So whatever your intuition is trying to guide you, listen to it. Because you can always rely on your intuition. Especially if since this is under foundation of achievements. So if anything's been showing you about uh, the thievery that's been going on and showing you that you're going to get back everything, this is just a clarification of what I picked up here. So I'm picking up with this, listen to your intuition. This was just a clarifier where you've already, some of you anyway, not all of you, but I'm picking up up to like maybe three to four people. Uh, this was just a clarifier that what you receive through your intuition so you can trust your intuition that for those of you that were told that you're going to get back what the enemy took and then some this is your confirmation that that how true that is for those of you that have not had this and this is not your clarification listen to whatever guidance that is being shown to you at this time and in whatever form it's showing you whether it's through, through synchronicities signs dreams or any kind of guidance even if you have whether you have clear audience or what have you listen to it and trust it listen to the divine guidance that god the angels your spiritual team whatever shows you and listen to it and trust it and make sure that it's truly coming from the divine of course use your own discernment I'm also picking up because I got drawn to the word test back there behind me from the mirror. I can see it in my mirror. Um, you're, you, you've been going through a test. And with this judgment here, I'm picking up you past the test that you went through. And the test of being able to follow through as in not to give up and keep pushing through whatever your endeavor is or your calling or your mission or even your business, whatever it is for you. And that you pass the test of not giving up on that and showing that you really do have the determination to follow through. And then no need to worry. That just verifies what I was picking up right here. No re just relax. Don't worry. No, re no need to worry. Things are going to transform into your favor and work out into your favor and there's no reason to worry and for the those of you that do resonate with the shadow part of it and that you may have a reading with the Aquarius reading that I recently did which is on Saturday oh um, no need to worry just go through the go through it and allow yourself to just push through Take this last oracle. Look for a sign. That just, again, what I was picking up there. If you were looking for a sign from where your intuition was picking up about what I was picking up about, oh, um, If you're in, you were guided and 
with your intuition telling you that everything that the enemy took from you, you'll get back then so. This is just clarifying more. This is your this was your sign. Now, this can still apply to you even if you didn't receive that part. It's letting you know to listen for the signs. Look for the signs. Whatever signs being shown to you, listen to your intuition and the signs that's being shown to you. So meditation is definitely needed as well as what I'm picking up. So that way you can uh, fully take in what needs to be shown to you. And I'm picking up, it might even hit you like a bolt of lightning, metaphorically speaking, obviously. I want to make that clear. <laughs> but but it's going to hit you like all of a sudden, like bam. And you're just going to have this light bulb, like this epiphany that's going to help you just make sense of everything and why everything happened the way that it did and how it was meant to unfold the way that it did. And it's just going to just clearly start making sense to you where it might not fully did before. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have success. So even if you've had many successes before, you're about to have another breakthrough and have success come through. I'm picking up even bigger than before. And that this might even, I'm not even going to pick up my, I'm picking up, this is going to be one of your biggest breakthroughs or successes that you've had. And even if you haven't had your breakthrough and success yet, this is going to be huge. So be ready to receive it. Be ready to receive your success of what is to come. And that you're going to have what is right, rightfully yours. While those that have taken from you in some way, they will be paying the price. And that's just going to be on them while you get your just reward. And having a firm foundation on your achievements and the rewards that you deserve. And your recognition and your success that you deserve and shining bright like the star is what I'm picking up especially with this here and what I was picking up with here like coming out of your oh uh, cocoon and being more of a guiding light to not only yourself but to others is what I'm picking up and see what I'm getting overall before I close out the reading I'm just picking up big time with her arms stick holding out the same time with you ready and no worries. Just relax and just allow it to just come to you. There's no reason to chase it, just attract it. And the train horn confirmation. I don't know if you picked up or not. So that's, that's all I'm getting from the reading. So I hope that this helped you in some way and brought you some form of clarity. I'm also picking up something else. I'm picking up all aboard. That it's time to get on the train because this is your train and it's time for you to get on board because this is for you. And it's your time to move from point A to point B and it might even be quite an actual move and travel, especially when I picked up from the main reading. And be sure to turn on the notification bell so you know each time I upload a new video. And like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, God bless.